Today I want to talk about mulberry leaf powder. I mentioned a little bit about it in the other video. And it's uh, a lot like garlic when it comes to reducing your blood pressure and your blood glucose. But it's more than mulberry leaf powder that does this. Strawberry leaf powder. Strawberry leaf powder, raspberry leaf powder. And even, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong, olive leaf powder. But all of these, all of those, um, tend to cause people, some people, to have headache. And um, obviously, if you're allergic to garlic and you need something else to get your blood sugar down and your blood pressure down, then those uh, leaf powders or extract is the way to go, unless, of course, it gives you a headache. Hopefully, hopefully it does not. As I said, for some people it does. And uh, I just can't stress enough to you how important it is to not use these medications unless you absolutely have to, these um, <coughs> prescriptions, because, for instance, there are some blood pressure medicines that actually cause type 2 diabetes. Now look it up. Look it up, folks. A lot of these medicines that uh, modern medicine is giving people today are harmful to you. And they're not going to tell you about garlic. They're not going to tell you about things that are grown out in the field or out in the woods because it does not make them any money. It does not make them money at all. They'd have to go back to, I don't know, cleaning toilets for a living, like some of the rest of us have to do. There's a ton of other <clears throat> instances of these things that you grow. I'll give you another example. This one comes right off the top of my head. They call it Melissa but it is um, lemon balm. Lemon balm is very, very interesting. If you go online and you look up the benefits, health benefits, the usage of lemon balm is on PMC medical websites. This is what you're going to find. Both Simplex 1 and Simplex 2 herpes, shingles, colds, influenzas, and of, I'm not going to say the name, the C word, but you know what I mean. That too. But not only that, HIV. That's right, I said it, HIV. Now there's two types of HIV, I can't remember what they're called, but 90% is one type and 10% of the population of HIV patients have the other type. It is the 90% type that um, Melissa or Lemon Balm has practical usages for, okay? Once again, don't take my word for it. Please do not do that. Do your research. This is how I found these things out, okay? There's a whole host of other things I can't even remember. And here's the thing. Lemon balm, I grow that in one of my little um, raised beds. And here's what I do with it. It makes a 
way, if you do it this way, it's a very interesting and tasty concoction. I will get me a half a gallon of um, spiced rum and fill up two quart jars of lemon balm leaves. Okay, pour the uh, spiced rum in there and fill it up, close up the top, wait a month, and voila, I have lemon balm to sip. And when you taste it, it kind of tastes like, I mean, if you were to put some sugar in it, it would taste like a lemon liqueur. I kid you not. It's exactly what it would taste like. Me, I don't, I don't put sugar in my, in anything that I eat or drink, and I don't drink much. I don't drink any beer. The only thing I do drink, I might drink a little bit of that, um, sip a little bit of that uh, uh, lemon balm. If, uh, if I start getting a flu or a cold or something like that, but please, what folks, study the health benefits of lemon balm, mulberry leaf powder, blackberry leaf powder, raspberry leaf powder, and strawberry leaf powder. Look into it. Do yourself a favor. Don't let others do the research for you. You do it for yourself.